Hi guys, James from Valet Pro. I'm here with Elliot. Valet Pro also. Valet Pro also. <laughs> As you may have just seen from the uh, from the intro, um, we've got something. Sorry, we've got our, our neighbours over there on, on the <laughs> electric really skateboard. 100 mile an hour skateboard. Yeah. As you may have just seen, we've got this in. I don't know if the GoPro's giving it justice at the moment, but um, the new 2021 G80 BMW M3. What's your first impression now? Um, yeah. The, the, the grill. We're not gonna, we're not reviewing this car at the end of the day, which is all throw out a few of our opinions and what we think. It's a bit of a first impression and then later on in the video um, we're essentially going to give it a bit of a maintenance wash and uh, yeah we're going to do a bit of a wash and talk I suppose. Plus like carbon. I like carbon. Yeah so we've got carbon, I mean what I've spotted so far, carbon mirror caps. Um, carbon down here in the, on the front Roof. Some carbon inlets. Where's this? There's carbon inlets down there. Okay yeah yeah. Yeah, I like the headlights as that's well. beautiful stuff. Yeah, I like sort of the blue accents that yeah. I've got on there. BMW laser. It's uh, oh, yeah. the, the undercover police, if they, if they do go for an M3, <laughs> they're going to love it. Half the job's already done, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is it. Nice uh, M3 competition badge. Yeah. Another thing as well, which we noticed quite early on, is the, is the mismatched size wheel. So it's got 19s at the front and there's 20s at the back. Yeah. Is this coming from like a stylistic um, viewpoint or? What's the reason for that or grip? I imagine, yeah, probably for grip, I imagine. Yeah. It's rear wheel drive only, so it's not an X drive one. So, nice bit of PPF there, which is always handy, because as everyone knows with BMWs, these bits, especially on the X, X5s, get absolutely pepper with stone chips. Yeah. So there's a bit of PPF there. Carbon spoiler, which is nice, and uh, carbon rear diffuser. Okay. And then you've got the quads as well with the with the with the black trip tips. Yeah. Now we, we've had a bit of a tease of the exhaust already. Yeah. And um, you, you've got several modes. It seems like. It sounds like three different modes. So you've got comfort, sport, and then sport plus, and it just gets louder at each stage. Yeah. So we could do some clips of that maybe. Yeah, that's it. It'll be, it'll be interesting to, to see what that's like on on a roll at the yeah. end of the day. Um, like I said, we're going to take this out. Um, around the block, get a bit of a feel for the car um, and what it's like ultimately. Because I mean, this is it's an exciting time in, uh, in the world once again. And a new M3, we all love an M3. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just gonna be good to kind of see what this one's got to got to offer. So, should we take a look at the interior. Yeah. Just I don't it. actually, I don't actually mind this. To be fair, it's probably a bit mustard for some people, but it's different, and I like different. So. Yeah, I think you've got to spice it up a bit. Yeah, lots of carbon, lots of blue, and a bit of yellow. Yeah. I love the seats. Oh, the seats, they are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what did you call this bit earlier? Uh, <laughs> Should we say it on the camera? <laughs> nice carbon nut sack holder. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, I mean, we believe this is for the Hans. It's in, in reality, I mean, you, you, you probably could use it for, <laughs> for that. <laughs> But um, I don't think BMW would, would appreciate that. No, I don't think that's what it was intended for. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it, because at the end of the day... Well, that being said with harnesses, you've got the rear seats in the way, so I suppose you could fold them down and... Yeah, I imagine, there's, they put, I imagine they put a point somewhere, haven't they, for, for you to quickly go. But I mean, those, yeah. those, they are just... Yeah, they're lovely, man. I do like a good seat and I do like carbon, so... Well, this is at the end of the day, this is where you're going to be spending most yeah. of your time. Yeah, they are actually, to be fair, quite comfortable. The bit as well, also, getting into the seat. I mean, this isn't going to be your normal, just sort of slip in. You're going to, you've kind of got to almost climb into it. Like you're getting into a, you know, a race car with a bucket seat. Yeah. So, really, I mean, I'm not massive, I'm not a massive bloke. But these, they do hold you well, you know? And and it's a nice, because I, I, yeah. I briefly sat in it, and it's a nice seating position. Yeah, it I mean, hugs you quite nice. Steering position's nice. Plenty of leg room. And I'm six foot, and, and you know, and that's quite a, you know, there's still plenty of room behind for someone. Yeah. And I've got, you know, I'm not sort of, my knees aren't up by my ear holes, so this is nice. It's, it's a nice, nice place to be. What else have we, have we got on, Virtual on the inside? Should we press it? Yeah, let's turn it on. So 
uh, yeah, virtual cockpit. So, today, sport plus mode. <laughs> yeah, this is it. We've, we've got the car, because sadly we've only got this for, for a limited time. Um, so yeah, I think sport plus is, is the way to go. <laughs> We're not gonna be uh, eco-friendly in it. Um, the next few hours but that being said we're not we're not going to be going mad we've yeah we start that? yeah give it a start what's that that's just comfort mode okay so that's comfort what, what yeah. are you going to put it in next we go sport next and then we do sport plus after okay sounds good We have had it warmed up. Um, it's been running for a little while prior to, to filming this. Um, so yeah, we're not giving it a cold start rev. Yeah, you can see there, nice and warm. Yeah, there we go. Right, should we go out for, uh, for a little drive out and see what it's like? Yeah, why not? Let's do it, mate. All right, guys. So joining us in the interior um, of, of the cabin. Um, so yeah, we should go for a little drive. I think we'll have the window down. It's magic. We're in four layers. It's, yeah. it's quite a cold <laughs> day, and I'm, I can feel the heat already. It's quite nice, and at least we can hear the sound of the the, the exhaust as well, echoing against the uh, the units. Yeah, too right. So yeah, let's start it uphill. He's gonna take the first drive. Um, yeah, just just a short one really, and we're kind of gonna see what it's uh, what it's like. So what, what mode do you? Sport Plus. So Sport Plus, yep. yeah, as, as we said earlier, yep. I suppose. Track control is all on and things like that, so I'm, I'm not going to go crazy, but at least yeah. we've got we got the sound of the exhaust then, haven't we? Yeah, so no no burnouts or, or drifts in, no, in this video, I'm afraid, guys. No, unfortunately not, not this time, anyway. Smooth, isn't it? It's nice and smooth. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm not a good passenger, so I might pull some, <laughs> some faces. Oh, that's a bit... It, it, just, it just wants to... I think it's because it's in Sport Plus, so it's probably going to hold the gears, I imagine. Yeah. I mean, literally, when I when I moved it just a little bit, it just wanted to just pull you forward. Or, or push you forward, just, I should say. It's very responsive, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Didn't want to change gear then, did it? Are you, are you in manual? Uh, no, it's in auto. I possibly was in manual at that point though. That's why. There we go. Yeah. Smooth, isn't it? Really nice smooth drive. You yeah, you don't, you don't feel the gear changes. Feels like it wants to go. Oh, the sap's got some nice sounds, isn't it? There's a little bit of a... Uh... It's, it's a good balance. It's not, I mean, at the end of the day, it's stock. It's not over the top or... Like that. It yeah, definitely, um, you've got to get some heat in those tyres, haven't you, before it. Uh... Yeah, you can feel them, you can feel them sort of struggling for a bit of, a bit of grip. Oh, they're P0s, aren't they? Yeah, probably P0s, yeah. So, which is, I thought, be, I thought, you know, BMW sort of would go down the Michelin route, but. Yeah, I think a lot of people will probably end up putting um, some uh, PS4s on, on, on these bad boys for. Steering wheel feels nice. Easy. It's in a bit Cheers, dude. See you later. God, right, that it hooked up then. <laughs> that picks up nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the, the thing of this is you can really feel it. I mean, I, I wasn't looking at the, the rev um, counter, but when it is getting to that band, mm. I'm gonna call it the happy band. The happy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds you nice. It's it. not too. It doesn't. It doesn't sound too leery, does it? No. No, this is it. You know, it's sort of—it's not like all like screamy in your face and stuff, stuff like that. And I suppose it's got an OPF filter as well. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah so I mean, this is probably one of the better sounding vehicles with an OPF filter in it um, that I've heard at least in, in the recent couple of years. Mm. 
got some turbo turbo noises as well coming from the engine bay. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, mate. <laughs> she wants to go, James. It's not there. She wants to go. Oh, it's a shame that we haven't got the room for it, really. Isn't this, it? this is it, mate. <laughs> Once you're getting up there, it's it flipping kicks you. <laughs> it kicks you hard. So you see what the turn, turning circle is not too bad. Can we do can we do circles without having to worry about yeah. hitting the building? That's not a bad turning circle, to be fair. This is where we stick our heads out the window and pretend we're drifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sit to the side, James. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> One I like it. I like it, mate. Yeah, you could definitely, uh, you could definitely lose lose some miles in this, can't you? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we won't, we won't look at the uh, the economy gauge or anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, we'll be, it, should we put it into a sensible mode and see how it drives then, shall we? Yeah, let's go into eco. We're going, to, we're going to go on our commute. Oh, it's just turned off. Oh, the stop start. <laughs> there we go. There so we're go. already a lot more sensible. I'm sure we've saved a bit of fuel so far. Yeah, that's it. See, it almost just, it's nice, it almost just turns into a normal car, you know? It feels now that it's, it's just gliding. Yeah. You haven't... Oh, it's still... I mean, so you kicked down then, didn't it? Yeah, it did, yeah, and it holds onto the gears as well, so it probably, it automatically thinks you want to sort of, you know, give it a bit of welly. Yeah, this is it. So but, if, you, if you have got your typical Sunday driver in front of you and you are, you know, cruising somewhere but somebody in front of you is cruising a bit too much then it will obviously kick down quite nicely for you um, but I mean this mode so far it feels completely different to Sport Plus it's I mean obviously it's a lot more comfortable yeah I think the suspension as well seems to have, uh, to have changed a little bit yeah that's it Still, if you want to, even in, in comfort, it's still it's still got that sort of yeah. And I think you, you can need have some that. fun. It's you know you, you need to have that on demand. If yeah, I thought at the end of the day, it's an M car, isn't it? You know, if if you wanted to just use something that that was sort of no, that wasn't very fun and just something to take to the shops and maybe you know go on a bit of a drive with it, then you just go for your you go for a three twenty D or something. But yeah, I think you always you never want an M car to be too tame. No, you. I think you. It's always. It's nice to have that sort of uh, unexpectedness around it. You know, this is it. And and for the UK market, I mean, this can be seen as a bit of a downer for, for some. But um, the UK is purely getting only the the um, M3 competition packs. So not the standard M3s, and they're only coming in their in their um, auto variants um, as well. So there's no manual available for UK. I think for the rest of Europe and, um, and and the US, it's it's a different story. We're going to go full manual now with paddles, I think. Okay. Obviously, from a passenger side, but how's it feeling to you? Oh, it feels good. Yeah. You can sort of, uh, yeah, you can do it in. Yeah. Just reverse up a bit. If you see what it sounds like on the uh, on the downshift. Yeah. See right. if it, sometimes it does a little flick of the throttle on the downshift, doesn't it? And the nice thing about the paddles as well is that they seem like a decent size, unlike a lot of um, cars. <coughs> Volkswagen Group. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh look at this as well. So obviously you guys won't be able to see this on the camera, but it's got the, the cameras in the mirrors and things like that, so it almost gives you a bird's eye view of where you're parking. So that will help you. Yeah. That will assist you very well when you're parking. So we'll go down and we'll do some downshifting on it. And yeah. then I think I want to try a launch. Yeah, it'd be good to because I, yeah. I think the launches uh, we haven't been given a, a spec sh sheet or anything, so we're sort of going off the knowledge we've found on online. So correct us if, if we're wrong with any of this info. Mm. Um, but launches, as far as we're aware, is it's not stick thin in sort of the low three seconds um, from what I've seen. So I mean, it's it's an impressive bit of kit. Mm. And remember, this is rear wheel drive only. This isn't the X drive, you know, the four wheel drive variant. 
um, that's due to sort of come out uh, later this year, I believe. Yeah. So we do a, we go down, we do some downshifting. <laughs> I love a twitch. Yeah. I mean, it must be said though, it's it's been relatively, um, should we say, stable? Is that the right word? To be word? fair, yeah, I've not felt in any way like um, it's, I'm going to lose control. No, it's, it doesn't feel like it's, it's going to kill you. I mean, granted, this is a, a dry day on some on, on some nice tarmac. Um, it, it's yeah, it's it's been pretty good so far. I know with launches it's traction troll off and everything like that, but I don't really want to do that because I don't want to end up smashing into the building. I think it's literally just foot on the brake in there and then yeah, then sort of floor it. <laughs> it goes. That, I don't think it launches enabled then, was it? No, no, but, because that wanted to spin, didn't it? Yeah, that it wanted to go from the get go. That almost had a, a feel in there where it wanted to. Um, it felt like it wanted to do a burnout. Yeah, it felt like it just wanted to lock the front wheels and just start spinning the rear wheels. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, um, yeah, it's definitely got some poke. Yeah. Do, yeah. You, uh, do you want to have a little swap over, James? Yeah, I'll have a quick little, little cruise around the block. <coughs> There's no heat in those tyres yet. <coughs> no. I don't think we're going to get any heat in them, to be fair. <laughs> Is that in drive? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the sun's very harsh, I can't quite see the, the dials. So it's gonna be an auto, automatic mode to begin with, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and it's all in comfort as well. Happy days. Right. I think we'll start, start in comfort. So yeah, not, it's quite light, sort of like steering wheel, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you, mate. <laughs> I just looked in the uh, window of the office as we drove past, and, yeah. and Mark's Mark was watching us laughing. Hey, brakes are very responsive. Yeah, it's smooth. You're not, you know. No. You're not it, going out the head, you know, out the windscreen, are it, you? It's got progression to it, but you can feel it just wants to. Um, it does want to stop. I mean, mm. I, I dread to think how 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 powerful it is when you're properly slamming on them. I reckon this has got some stopping power to it. Yeah. Okay, so I kicked down then, uh, but straight's not big enough to. Yeah. I could have this as a daily. Yeah. Just need the uh, just need the cash. <laughs> yeah, you just need 70, 000, plus. Yeah, this is it. So the, the, these M1 M, M2 dials and the steering wheel, is that to jump into the next mode? Yeah, so M, if you press M1 once, it goes into Sport, and right. if you press M2 once, it goes into um, the Sport Plus. Sport Plus. What's the major difference? I don't know, to be fair. I mean, I know the exhaust sound, the, the exhaust note changes, um, and it looks like the suspension changes as well. So this, you've got Sport and suspension, you've got another bar that you can go to on there. So at the moment, on the steering and the brakes, you're maxed out, yeah. But you've got a bit more to go. See that? Yeah. Even yeah. even that. Even there. There's a definite <laughs> difference, isn't there, to efficiency to the sport than there is to the to the comfort mode. Oh yes, James. <laughs> it's just wheel spinning there, though. Sadly, <laughs> that's just in sport. Yeah, this is it. It's got a lot, a lot of horses under this uh, under this bonnet. What is it? Five hundred and three brake horsepower, is it? I, I think so. It's it's a lot of numbers. Yeah, it's, it's enough. It's nice. It's a nice, you know. I think that's more than enough on the roads today, isn't it? You know, oh, you can really yeah. use that all unless you took it to you know private road or racetrack or you know drag strip or something. You definitely wouldn't be able to get away with using it all. No, it's just, it's definitely going to be a, an absolute track weapon. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited to see people start using these on, on the Nürburgring, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's always good for a video. Oh, you're in Sport Plus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
fast now, James. Yeah, it's oh, more you fast now. Step things up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the brake pedal is quite it's quite a firm brake pedal as well, isn't it? I think it changed. The brake pedal gets firmer as you go into right. the sport. That, that must be it. Yeah. yeah. The manual. Is it? Uh, just over once to the right. That's it. You're in manual. Oh no, you were in manual. Now, now you're in manual. Now I'm manual. Okay, so that's fourth. So cruise at twenty. <laughs> yeah. What did we start with? A hundred. <laughs> I think we've only done a mile. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. This is nice. We'll um. I think we'll call it. Call it there. We'll park it up, and then I mean, it's about time we start getting it washed. Too much fun there in, in manual, James. Yeah, that's it, mate. <laughs> Happy days. Right, yeah, let's get out. Let's, let's give us uh, this car a wash. We parked in the shade. Um, this is not the best to, to wash in direct sunlight. And um, yeah, let's see if she cleans up as, as good as she performs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we just got out of the car. And um, you know what? I don't know about you, Al, but despite all the controversy regarding the looks um, of the motor, um, from the inside, it's another animal. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. So um, what we're gonna do now is Elliot's gonna give this Beamer a, a nice swash. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get it looking, uh, looking at its best really. Yeah. Obviously it's a new car, so it shouldn't be too hard to, to, to work with. And as you can see, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. It's mostly just general kind of road grind. Dust that and, and water spots, isn't it? And bit of brake dust probably. Yeah, pretty much. It's only done 320 miles, so it shouldn't be too bad, you'd hope. What's the first step, Al? Uh, do the wheels. Yeah. We're going to use our, our Dragon Spreath, so it's just a pH neutral wheel cleaner. Yeah. Uh, it's also a fallout remover. So, okay. You know, they're matte finish wheels uh, with a chrome, sort of with a chrome sort of, uh, not lip as such, but a bit of a chrome sort of pinstripe to it. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to, we're going to use this on there. Sounds uh, good. Once we snow foam it, you'll see the bleeding and all that. So. Yeah, that's it. So this is obviously, you know, it's good to use a dedicated wheel cleaner. Yeah. Especially on matte finishes as well. Matte finishes, you don't want to, you know, be putting anything too strong in there. Cause you don't want to, you know, discolour the wheel or anything like that. So, you know, yeah. cause any sort of damage to the finish. So, if in doubt, you know, Dragon's Breath. And you literally just liberally spraying across all the surface that's and it. then... Get it in there, get it in the back of the barrels, get on the, you know, brake calipers. Stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. And then leave that to twelve for about five minutes or so. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Let us, just don't make sure it dries. You know, make sure you didn't, it didn't dry on the wheel. Obviously, as always, don't try not to wash your car in direct sunlight. I know some people can't help it, but if you can, you know, don't. Yeah, that's it. So I mean, here we've obviously deliberately parked it um, in the shade. Um, as much as we'd love to be on the on the other side <laughs> of this of this road, um, we are braving it in this in this cold, windy day in, in, in New Haven on the on the shade from the building. You know, so I can see a lot of the, the reaction here. What's next? Uh, snow foam. Okay. So what, what, what's the benefit of a snow foam? Why why are we doing something like that on the? So well, on the car? It, to be fair. Worst at the moment is just dust, so we could go straight into the contact wash. But if we snow foam it, it's just going to take off the dust, loosen up any big bits of dirt on there, and stuff like that. Um, you know, and then when we go into washing it, like hand contact washing, then there's going to be less sort of dirt and stuff on there, so it's just going to be safer to wash it. Yeah, we're going to do our two bucket method as well. Sweet, just okay, to make sure black paint, brand new. I don't want to be the one to put any marks in it, so, so snow foam's in the, in the lance. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get this foam on. That's a good way of doing it. Keeps it away from the uh, car. I like it. Yeah.
yeah, 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 Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these. I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. Ice of the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they notice the vision. You be the hero, I'm playing the villain. The underdogs and we walk in the villain. We getting money, yeah, they think that we dealing. They talking hot, yeah, if they a penis and we won't stop till we all touch a million. Don't ever forget, but we probably forgive them. On so, cars all rinsed off. What's, uh, what's the next step, mate? We're going, uh, we're going to open up the shutter, we're going to pop it in the bay. Okay. Uh, we're tail dry it, but we're going to uh, dry it with our air blower as well. So again, minimal contact as possible when it comes to drying it. Sounds Being good. brand new and black, the least we touch it, the less damage we can, we can do. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Alright, so motor's all dry. Um, what's that toothbrush you've got on your hand, Hill? <laughs> <laughs> this is my mini polisher because I've unfortunately found a scratch. Not from cleaning, I'm not too sure how this has got here. Just on the uh, passenger front door there, I don't know okay. if you can see it. I'll get my light. Yeah, yeah, there we are. Can you see some very light marring as well, unfortunately? So, this has obviously been cleaned before no doubt we'll probably see this car down the line and, and then we can sort of give it a full um, exterior detail so tires next l yeah mate uh, we're gonna go for maximum shine tire gel yeah. then it's a black on well it's dark wheels on a black car a matte tire shine probably just wouldn't show up, so I'm gonna go for something extra shiny. So that's the wash um, essentially complete, and it's now gonna move the car uh, around the back. We're gonna get a few photos of it, um, get a video on it. Um, yeah. Right, guys, that pretty much concludes. Um, sorry, oh, the, the BMW. Um, it's been a pleasure. I don't know, yeah. don't know what your thoughts are, El, but... To be fair, it's, my mind's changed. Yeah. I like it, yeah. Bit, a bit sceptical. I mean, you look at the images online and, I don't know, it, you know, it's all get mixed opinions and you know, all these sort of uh, reviews from other um, people online as well and you don't really know what to make out of it. But once you see it in person, it's a completely different beast. Um, it drives amazingly as yeah. well. Um, we'd like to thank uh, Chandler's BMW in Yeah, Hulsham. thanks Matt and the guys at Chandler's. Yeah, this. that's it. You know, although we've only had it for a few hours, um, we've got some great content we feel um, from this motor. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see it again uh, at some point uh, in the future. If you'd like to find out more about the new BMW M3 and M4, you can head over to uh, the Chandler's BMW website. Uh, they've got plenty of info there, and uh, the guys there will be more than happy to uh, to help you out with any inquiries you have as well. Um, so yeah, I think we'll close the video. <laughs>